we had worked with a guy named Thad Mumford uh, on a show that we, uh, that we ran. We'd hired him. And uh, we were friends. And uh, he and his, uh, and, his, and his writing partner, Dan Wilcox, were working on MASH, I guess in the not ninth season, the third from the uh, yeah, uh, eight, uh, ninth. Yeah, we, they, were in the, they were in the ninth. They, they, they were, were in the, actually, we came on the eighth season. Eight, no, ninth. Oh, ninth, yeah, yeah. ninth, tenth, eleventh. Yeah, yeah. So he was, they were working, and, and, and Thad mm -hmm. asked us, he, he probably had said something to Burt Metcalf already, the, the, the showrunner, but uh, he asked us if we'd like to write a MASH episode, and we, of course, were thrilled with that idea. And, uh, and we did. Um, we, we came in and we uh, talked about a story, and uh, I think we had a really good time writing it, and uh, they liked it a lot, and asked us to do more. And sort of tied to that was the fact that years earlier, when Larry Gelbart right. was running the show, we'd come in to do a, an episode of MASH as freelancers, and they gave us an episode, right? The I think tub. so, yeah, the tub. Called, it was called The Tub. It's simply about a, a bathtub that arrives at the math, MASH unit. And uh, I guess it had been around for a while, and they couldn't get the thing to work. And so they uh, asked us to take a crack at it, which we were happy to do. We worked out a story, a rough story, with uh, Larry and, uh, and uh, Larry Marks, who was the story editor under Larry Gelbart. And uh, we brought it back, and uh, for whatever reason, they still couldn't get it to work. You know, we hadn't cracked the tub problem. So uh, we that, had written the script. Though. Yeah, we wrote the, the script, script level. Yeah, but it just it just didn't quite work for uh, for Larry Gelbart's purposes. So that was that. Years went by, and uh, as Elias just uh, explained, we got the chance to do another one. And we had assumed, well, we're that's it. We're through with Mash. They'll never use us. And it turned out, Bert said, the mere fact that we got in to see Larry Gelbart <laughs> years earlier <laughs> made him think, well, maybe we should we should give him another chance. So that's that was the little uh, coda to yeah. that story. And when we were working on Mash, which which we uh, we freelanced uh, for the ninth season and the eleventh season, which was the last season, and we were on staff. During the tenth season, uh, during the time we were there, Bert said, uh, "You know, we've got this script that you guys wrote uh, many years ago, and uh, we've paid for it. And uh, if you could make it work, you know, it'd be great, and you know, it would it would be uh, another credit for us, and, and there'd be residuals and all that sort of thing." And, and we said, "Terrific!" So he gave us the script, and we couldn't figure out how to make it work. Still, <laughs> it's still the tub. Didn't, the tub yeah, again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't happen. It was probably based on an actual fact from. All those interviews they did with people who had been in mash units, and uh, yeah. probably somebody alluded to something like that or something similar. Seems like so, a good mash idea. Yeah. When we came in, I think we probably pitched. Uh, we probably pitched uh, a lot of ideas, but I think the one we ended up with was cementing one, relationships. Yeah, was one that they had. Yeah, based on research they had done with. Um, surgeons who had been in mass yeah. units, who they would call, interview, transcribe the uh, interview, the interviews on paper, file them away, and See refer they... to them all the time. This one had to do with uh, uh, I, uh, wood floor in the, the OR. The wood flooring, the panels in in the operating room, harboring. Uh, what was the specific disease? I don't know. I can't but remember certainly exactly. that it wasn't that, sanitary. And, not being sur yeah, surgically sanitary and uh, having to put in concrete floors, and uh, that was the that was the A story of that first episode. There was a B story having to do with some Italian soldier arriving at the unit who is uh, attracted to Margaret. You know what Dave said before is um, is interesting, or, or I guess what you said, Steve, is that just so we're talking about the same thing here, that, that when, we would, when we would go in and pitch uh, after, um, you know, after, and after we were established, which happens with all writers, you don't go in and pitch without a commitment. So you're going to go in and tell them stories, but the understanding is that if they don't like something, if they don't like anything that you bring in, then they'll find something for you to do. So it's pitching 
you know, it, 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 but, but not, not to get the job. 